Lethal Company is a very popular game. Okay, we're gonna stop right now. You already know the gist of Lethal Company. If you don't know the gist, then why are you watching this video? If you're new to Lethal Company or just wanna watch my video, I'm going to be talking about the Lethal Company Muons. The resources, the monsters, some bits of the layout, and the conditions. Anyways, just get right into it, starting with... Expermation or Expermation Entity. I do not care how to say the moon name. It's probably the first moon you'll probably see. It is a free moon, obviously. And it has a risk level of B. It's time for the entities. At a chance of 0.44% of spawning, we have the Nutcracker and Ghost Girl. With a 5.73%, we have the Bracken. 7.5 for the Thumper. Spore Lizards are 12.33, along with the Hoarding Bug. Into our final three, at 13.66%, we have Hydro Gear. At 22.47, we have the Snare Flea. And the most common entity here is the Bunker Spider at 25.55% chance of spawning. That's for indoor entities, at least. For Forest Keepers, it's 0.74. Old Birds, 2.22. For Earth Leviathans, it's 41.48, and finally, for Eyeless Dogs, it's 55.56. The video is probably going to be very long, so let's hope I add timestamps. <laughs> Here are four more. Tulip Snakes, 3.57. Circuit Bees, 19.84. Roaming Locust, 23.01. And finally, Manta Coils at a whopping 51.02 chance. Sorry if I rush these digits. When I say numbers like that, it's the percentage, okay? I don't want to say percentage over and over again. There are five weathers on this moon. Flooded, eclipsed, stormy, foggy, and rainy. At the risk level of D, we meet the moon insurance. Okay, it's called assurance, but I like to call it insurance. It's a stony, barren canyon. The indoor entities are... The Nutcracker and Ghost Girl are the same digits as they were before. The Barber at 0 0.92. Both the Spore Lizard and Bracken at a 4.31. Thumpers at 7.38, Hydro Gears at 8.62, at third place is the now demoted Bunker Spider at 21.23, Hoarding Bugs at second place with their 24, and finally the most common entity, the Snare Flea at a whopping 28.62. That doesn't come close to the outside entities. Forest Keepers have a little 0.52% chance. Baboon Hawks at 10.31. Eyeless Dogs with a massive jump at 40.21. And finally, the most common entity outside, the Earth Leviathan at a whopping 48.97% chance. Tulip Snakes have a 1.56% chance. Circuit Bees at 22.4. Roaming Locusts at 23.96. And at the highest one here, Manta Coils at 52.08. The weather here is flooded, eclipsed, stormy, foggy, and rainy. Vow has the weather of flooded, a lot, eclipsed, stormy, and foggy. By the way, all of these are gonna cost zero until I mention they cost money. This map has a 0.99% chance of becoming a manor. It is at risk level C and difficulty easy. We do have a newcomer into the mix. Coil heads at 1.88% chance of spawning, along with Thumpers at 2.81% chance, Barbers at 4.38, which I believe is the highest for free moons, Spore Lizards at 5.94, Hydro Gear at 8.75, Bunker Spider once again being demoted to 12.5, the Snare Flea being 3rd place at 19.06, 2nd place again is the Hoarding Bug at 19.69, and finally at a 25% chance is the Bracken. Eyeless Dogs at 2.61 and Earth Love Hyphens at 11.76. Despite that, you're still not safe because Baboon Hawks are 20.26% and at the highest here so far, Forest Keepers at 65.36. Let's do this quickly. Tulip Snakes, 1.72. Circuit Bees, 26.29. Roaming Locust, 28.88. Manta Coils, 43.1. Welcome to Offense, a risk level B Muon, with its difficulty being intermediate. It has a 1.32% chance of being a manor. Eclipsed, 
foggy, stormy, and rainy are some of the weather here. Let's make this snappy. Nutcracker 0.95, Bracken 1.42, Spore Lizards 3.32, Hoarding Bug 7.58, Coil Heads 11.85, Snare Fleas 12.8, at third place, I think again, 15.17% for the Hydro Gear. Bunker Spiders regaining their spot with 20.85. And in first place, we have the Thumper with 26.07. We have a new outside entity, the Old Bird, at 2.37%. Forest Keepers at 4.27, Earth Leviathans at 1754, Baboon Hawks at 28.44, and at the highest percent, Eyeless Dogs at 47.39. We have our first 100% folks with the Manta Coils being 100%. Dot zero. By the way, this is a two-part video. The first one is going to be, well, you're watching it right now, a guide to survive the moons, just percentages and stuff. And the second one is going to be the actual lore of the moon. We got that? Okay, next moon. Despite it being July, not March, March is still a moon. Difficulty intermediate and risk level is B. The weather is stormy, foggy, flooded, and eclipsed. Another new guide to the mixed. Jesters with 0.33% chance of spawning. Despite being the lowest, that's pretty cool. Nutcrackers have an advanced chance with 0.98. Not that much of an advancement, but still pretty cool. Spore Lizards at 2.94. Coil Heads at 3.27. Hydro Gear at 4.9. Hoarding Bugs at 11.76. Snare Fleas at 12.42. Top 3, we have the Bracken with 18.3% chance, Bunker Spiders with a 20.92, and Thumpers with a first place again, 24.18% chance. Earth Leviathans with a 7.88% chance, Eyeless Dogs with an 18.72, Forest Keepers with 31.53, and the highest of their class is the Baboon Hawk with 41.87. Sorry if I'm going fast, but I don't want this to be the longest video in history. Tulip Snakes, 2.04% chance. Roaming Locust with a 19.9% chance. Circuit Bees with a 35.71% chance. And Manta Coils with 42.35% chance. Adamance is the final free Muon. And boy, does it have a lot of creatures. This in Vow is my main map, by the way. The difficulty of this map is Intermediate, or Intermediate. This map is known across the community for the bridge, which if you have too many items, it will break. And there are multiple scenes of this happening. There's a 5 to 36% chance of this place being a manor, and its overall risk level is at B. And oh boy, do we have some new creatures here. Anyways, let's continue with the ghost girl at 0.55% chance, the barber at 0.83, a new creature called the mask 1.38, the jester and nutcracker's chances have been increased, the jesters being 1.93 and the nutcrackers being 2.2. Along with that, the butler has a 2.75% chance, along with the coil heads. Hydro gear have been demoted severely with 4.68% chance. Spore lizards have a 9.09% .09 chance. Brackens have an 11.02. Similarly, the snare flea has an 11.57. At third place, we have the hoarding bug with 15.7% chance. Bunker spiders at 17.08. And finally, the most common creature here is the Fumper once again at 18.46. For outside creatures, we have the Old Bird at 2.11, Earth Leviathans at 6.32, Forest Keepers at 16.84, third place, Eyeless Dogs at 20% exactly, and Baboon Hawks at a whopping 54.74% chance of spawning. For daytime entities, Tulip Snakes 5.17, Circuit Bees 14.66, Roaming Locust 25.86, and finally Manticoils at 54.31% chance. The weathers here are flooded, eclipsed, stormy, foggy, and rainy. You may not believe me here, but if it does get flooded and you don't break the bridge, it's actually pretty useful. At least for me, that is. Rend is a snowy forest which has a risk level of A and its difficulty is hard. 
It costs 550 credits to go to, or whatever the currency is called, I don't really care. This map is most commonly Manor, with only a 1.64% chance of it being a factory. There are only two weathers in this place, Eclipsed and Stormy. For the creatures inside the building, Hydro Gear got demoted again, or Hydro Deer, I don't really care, to 1.45% chance of spawning. Spore Lizards also got demoted at 1.69. Barbers at 2.65. Butlers have an increased chance of spawning with 4.34. Still not that good though. Ghost Girls got demoted severely. 4.82. The Masks also did. 6.02. Don't worry, we're gonna still see some more familiar faces with the Snare Flea being at 7.47. And the Coil and Bunker Spider are both at the exact same chance at 10.36. The third most likely creature to spawn is the Bracken at 12.29, which is surprisingly unlikely for these creatures. Jesters and Nutcrackers got a big upgrade with the Jester being in second, 14.46, and at a massive increase, Nutcrackers at 24.01, or just 24.1. For the outdoor enemies, you have Eyeless Dogs being at first place in 55.22, and Forest Keepers not that far behind with 44.78. From one snowy moon to another, meet Dyan. Its risk level is S and its difficulty is hard. It costs 600 credits to get to. It has a 2.28% chance of being a factory, while the rest of the percentage is manor. The weather here is rainy, flooded, and eclipsed. Ghost Girls are at the end of the list again with 1.98% chance of spawning, along with the Spore Lizard being down with 2.97. At the same level is the Fumper, which got demoted severely, and the Hydro Gear. Same with that is the Nutcracker and Jester, along with the Snare Flea, all at 4.95. At 5.94% chance of spawning, we have the Coil Head. At 6.93 we have the Bunker Spider, at 7.92 we have the Hoarding Bug, in 3rd place with 7.92 we have the Bracken, 14.85% for 2nd place to Barber, and the Butler getting the best promotion being at 30.69. We have 2 more outdoor enemies, not new ones but compared to the last moon we have 2 more. The Earth Leviathan, 1.59% chance, Old Birds, 6.88% chance, Eyeless Dogs at 38.62% chance, and at first place by far we have the Forest Keepers at 52.91% chance. Welcome to Titan, at a risk level of S+, and a difficulty of Hard. It costs 700 credits to get to. Surprisingly, it's more likely to be a factory, which is not common for paid Muons. It still has an 18. 7% chance of being a manor though. Its weather is stormy, foggy, and eclipsed. At our lowest percent chance, spore lizards have a 2.89% chance of spawning. Ghost girls are not that much different with a 3.07. Hydro gear at 3.62. The mask at 5.79. Hoarding bugs at 6.87. Fumpers at 9.76 along with the Snare Flea. At 10.67% is the Coil Head and Bunker Spider. Brackens at third place once again at 11.21. Nutcrackers and Jesters are on the same spot at second and first. At a 12.84% chance of spawning for both of them. At a 3.25% chance for the outdoor creatures, the Earth Leviathan comes in last. Coming in third place is the Old Bird with 5.69% chance of spawning. Forest Keepers with a 26.02% chance of spawning being second place. And without a doubt, the Eyeless Dog comes first with a 65.04% got 04% chance of spawning. Welcome to Artifice. Its risk level is S++ and its difficulty is high. It costs a whopping 1,500 credits. Its weather is stormy, flooded, eclipsed, and rainy. Finally, time for the indoor creatures. Barbers have a 1.72% chance of spawning. Ghost girls have a 3.02% chance of spawning. High grow deer at 6.29. Snare fleas at 7.33. Similar to the snare fleas, the coil head at 7.59. Similar to the coil head is the mast at 7.67. Similar to the mast is Spore Lizards at 7.76. Similar to Spore Lizards is the Jester at 7.93. Finally, it's over with the Fumper at 8.02. With an 8.19% chance of spawning is the Hoarding Bug. 
Coming in fourth place is the butler at 8.62% chance of spawning. Nutcracker is in third place with an 8.62% chance, just like the butler. And in second place, which is also similar to the Nutcracker, oh no, it's happening again. Yeah, it turns out the butler, Nutcracker, Bracken, and Bunker Spider all have the same chance of spawning. Earth Leviathans have a 6% chance of spawning. Baboon Hawks at 7, Eyeless Dogs at 19, Forest Keepers at 23, and in whopping first is the old bird, surprisingly. We haven't seen that in first. At 45% chance. Finally, we got some daylight creatures with the tulip snake. 3.23, Circuit Beast 24.19, and finally, most common of them, is 72.58 with the Manticoil. Finishing this long video off is Embryon. Its risk is S, but it doesn't cost much, only 150. Its difficulty is hard, and it has a 1.32% chance of being manor. Yeah, I don't know if someone changed the wiki or not. The weather is foggy and eclipsed. The one who got demoted the most was the Bracken at 0.95% chance of spawning now. Snare Fleas at 4.73, Nutcrackers at 6.94, Bunker Spiders at 7.26, Coil Heads at 7.89, Fumpers at 9.46, Spore Lizards at 11.04, Barbers in third place with 11.36, Hygro Deer at 13.25 regaining their spot at second place, and the Hoarding Bug, yes the Yippee Guy, at 27.13% chance of spawning, which is first place. Now this moon is pretty scary, sure the eyeless dog and forest keeper are both at 2.61 and earth leviathans are at 7.83 so what's the big deal? The old bird at 86.96% chance of spawning. Besides the manta coil, I think this takes second place for the most commonly spawned creature. You may be wondering, wait hold up sea lord, what is the percentage of the kidnapper fox? And what happened to the vein shroud? They are both very random chance and the wiki doesn't even know. So that's why they're off the Wikipedia. But I'm assuming since vein shrouds are random and you know kidnapper foxes only spawn in them, that that has something to do with it. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this drag of a video. Seriously, 17 minutes. How have you stayed this long? Well, okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you later. Okay, peace.